I didn't vlog at Dragon Con, but now I'm drunk and I'm at I'm at Erpercon UK and now I'm vlogging because everyone else is vlogging. I feel FOMO. So Yeah. She's vlogging. Vlogception! I don't know what else to say. I'm bad at vlogging. Anyway, I met a lot of cool people and we talked about ranch dressing a lot today. Yeah? See? They don't have it at McDonald's! Thank you! I got McNuggets and they didn't have ranch dressing and that's what got me started. <sighs> ranch dressing is the best. Anyway, day one of Erpercon UK has been a hit. Uh, I got lots of hugs and I'm excited to meet the cast. Yay! Uh, that is the extent to which I vlogged uh, that weekend. <laughs> Whoops. So, unfo but fortunately for, or unfortunately for you guys, um, awesome new friends, Tony and Leanne, had <laughs> a lot of footage of me. So, uh, I'm stealing some of it from their videos, Saz guys, and also uh, they sent me some of the footage that they didn't use in their videos. So, I'm gonna put some of that in. Uh, be warned, I am an insane person and I'm drunk in most of it. But, here's my very late Erpercon UK recap. Friday, got to the hotel and all the people, all the Peacemaker Pass people were having dinner with the cast. And so I was like, hey, let's go, um, you know, to dinner. Uh, people who don't have Peacemaker, like Black Badge, Purgatory, and like Day Pass people, I was like, let's go have dinner together. And so me and a bunch of people walked, I feel like a little bit farther than we thought it was going to be to a pub. Fortunately, that pub was full. So we were like, shit. Well, we saw McDonald's just down the street. So the horde of us walked to the McDonald's. Uh, at which point, I got chicken nuggets. They didn't have ranch sauce as an option for dipping sauce. That was like my thing for the weekend, was that like people don't know what ranch sauce is and or do not like ranch sauce. <laughs> what? So that was uh, the subject of my collab video with Leanne and Elika and Tony. So on our way back from McDonald's, Brad and Leanne, who are siblings and YouTubers, um, like to themselves, at like a, 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 an inside joke said, quoted a vine. And a beautiful friendship began to flower. Because I watch multiple vine compilations every night <laughs> before I go to bed. I do, it's true, I'm obsessed. And so to know that I could start talking about a vine or start quoting a vine and someone else knew what I was talking about, bliss. So Friday night, got drunk <laughs> and just, you know, talked. Um, and like people listened to what I was saying, which really surprised me. Uh, and a bunch of us went up to Leanne and Brad's room. We were gonna watch Wonder Woman, but we ended up watching Vine compilations and also Way Hot fan videos, which I had a lot of feelings about. So here's a little bit of footage of me on Friday night. 
uh, be prepared. <laughs> so I was hanging out with my sister and her roommates, and my mom and my dad and my grandma were there. And I was talking about reading Harry Potter for the first time, which is only within the last year. And I said, oh, I started reading FOMO, or I started reading Harry Potter. What I meant to say is because I suffer severely from FOMO, but because I was drunk, I said I suffer severely from HOMO. <laughs> Both statements are true. <laughs> My 27th birthday. What? Unfortunately, I remember it all. Mostly is me crying. Why? Um, because I'm me. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard anything like more true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I drank a lot of jello shots and about seven lemon drop shots. I had like three Moscow mules and like, I don't know, other people's drinks that I was drinking out of. <laughs> and. <laughs> <laughs> the bartender gives me a drink. He's like, happy birthday. And I was like, great. Gulp that shit down. It had dairy in it. Are you like this? <laughs> no. But anyone can who see why this is dairy going. after drinking copious amounts of alcohol will throw up, as I did. Okay. I cleaned up after myself. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, and then I promptly left the restroom, drank three more shots, uh, three more lemon drop shots. My sister was not very happy with me because she was my... She was my chaperone for the night. Of course. Uh, and then all of a sudden, no one was around me. And I went outside because everyone was smoking, because that's what drunk people do. And I said, Where's my sister? And then I was just like, Shit. And I go, My sister's mad at me. And just broke down crying. Which eventually turned into everyone was mad at me for being so drunk. Which eventually turned into my cat being mad at me because I was so drunk. Which in fact, she actually let me cuddle her more than she usually does. So my cat that was a lot. good sober friend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, you guys, this scene, I remember exactly what I was doing. My mom came in and tried to talk to me about something during the scene, and I literally go. <laughs> and then the scene was over, and I said, What? <laughs> you guys, it can't be legal for an officer to wear that uniform. No. Where's the bull professco? <laughs> I think we need the best of Waverly up. Please don't. <laughs> Listen, I can't really talk. I'm in a boring wire to explode. Also, I think I need. I wish she was canonically bi. <laughs> bi erasure is a hot button topic for me. <laughs> People always say, "Oh, you're such a pussy" when you're talking about someone being weak, right? Yeah. Listen, if you talk about the feline pussy, I work in the surgery department of a veterinary hospital. And we hardly ever see cats because they're so like resilient and hardly ever get hurt. Nine lives. Yeah. If you're talking about a vagina, them things is hardy too. They push out something the size of a watermelon and bounce right back. And they like they get tampon listen. <laughs> Vaginas get shit and they bounce right back. Vaginas are strong. But if you call someone a limp dick. Oh. Then they're weak as fuck. Oh, you oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dicks yeah. are fucking yeah. sensitive as shit. Yeah. And you even like look at Olympic dick and the guy's like, ah -ha! right? <sighs> Listen, so if you want to call some, next time you want to call someone a pussy, rethink that shit and call him a limp, limp dick. dick. That's more truth. Hashtag limp dick. Wow. Drop some knowledge. <laughs> Saturday. Woke up bright and early um, and went to breakfast buffet where I was like, I'm definitely not America because there were no pancakes or French toast or anything like that. I had like a proper English breakfast, which eh, it was fine. And then we went to the first like opening panel and were surprised with a video from Melanie and she's so funny and so hilarious and amazing and I love her. Hope she can come next year. And then Everyone else came out, and it was an awesome one on our panel, and lots of people asked some, like, really insightful questions, and, like, you know, herbers are classy, and 
they asked like serious questions and stuff that like made some of the actors think. That was a pretty common thing through all the panels. So Saturday afternoon, I got my picture taken. Originally had it for, um, uh, with uh, Way Hot and with Dominique, Catherine, and Shamir. Originally had it down to be Dominique, Catherine, and Emily to do a reaction shot. As I have decided that that is now our con uh, tradition. But unfortunately, as everybody knows, Emily couldn't make it. So I was like, great, what do I do? Who do I substitute Emily for? And I was like, Shamir. Because Dolls is the OG way hot shipper. So got this picture and love it. <laughs> and so then Saturday I mostly uh, did panels. We had a way hot panel, we had a gentleman's panel. I did to meet and greet with Michael, which was awesome. He's like such a nice guy and he's really insightful and he's so like, he loves coming to cons because he's never really been invited to these kinds of things before and he really loves coming. And um, <laughs> I painted his nails for him. Someone came in and they were, they brought a bottle of black nail polish and gave it to him. And he was like, yeah, I didn't have time to paint my nails before this. Does anyone want to paint them? And I'm like, and I'm sitting at a table for like 10 people. Ten, sit, I'm sitting at a table with like probably 10 other people and no one else said anything. So I was like, sure, I'll do it. I suck, but I'll do it. And you know what? <sighs> Turned out pretty well. I'm really surprised that I was not shaking. But Michael is such like a cool, chill, like personable guy that you don't, like I didn't really feel nervous around him, which I thought was awesome. And then Saturday night, we had uh, the cosplay contest and the dance. So, oh, and fan videos on the dance. So, cosplay contest was really cool. There were like, there were, there was a little girl that was like little tiny Winona and there was a little girl that was a little tiny way hot and they were so cute and like their cosplays were on point and there was season one Officer Hot, season two Officer Hot. There was a chick that was cosplayed as one of the widows, like hardcore, like finger things and, and everything. And the cast actually judge the costume contest, which I thought was really cool. And it was just so cool to like watch them watch the cosplay. Um, and then they played fan videos, which of course I cried at because I'm Winona Earp trash and it's just what it is. What? <laughs> Why are you crying? Because the fan videos are so good. <laughs> Uh, and then the party started, dancing began, um, and at some point we got hungry, so Brad, Leanne, Tony, and Julia and I hopped in a tiny ass car and went to McDonald's. Apparently we missed Shamir DJing, which sucks. Uh, and at some point during the night, uh, I think it was pretty soon after the costume contest, um, Tim and Michael actually stayed and like danced with people. And, and seeing Tim and Michael, like they were dancing with Little Winona and Little and Little Hot and Little Winona had a brother there. And they were dancing with these kids and they were dancing with, with their fans and they were having so much fun. I just love them so much. And probably like, honestly, probably the best part of that night was seeing Catherine's partner, Ray Galetti, just like videotaping it all and taking all these pictures, like this huge smile on his face, like a proud, this so proud. And like, I just thought it was so sweet because he gets so much shit, but he's a really nice guy and so supportive. And it was just so great to have him there. 
Uh, stayed up really late into the night on Saturday, got drunk again. Sunday was when I took most of my pictures, most of my other pictures with the cast, <laughs> and I showed the picture to everyone, and Leanne is like, you look like a proud single mother with all her children. And you know what? I do. And you know what? I fucking love it. <laughs> um, and then Sunday, I did all my autographs. And probably my favorite, favorite part of this whole weekend was being able to see all the international people that have had to wait two seasons to meet the cast and watching them interact with this cast that is so, the cast is so amazing and so gracious and loving and I like, I don't like, I can't comprehend like, or like convey how amazing this cast is. I never wanted to end. <laughs> and I just, like, I mean, I, I'm just repeating everything that I've ever said on any of my videos is just how amazing, <laughs> how amazing this fandom is and how amazing this cast is. And, like, what's that saying? Like, when, when has your cast ever, right? <laughs> right? No, but seriously, like, they give so much to us and... Like, they had no downtime during this whole thing, and they're just going from photo shoot to autograph, and still, like, making every single fan. <laughs> Seriously, they make every single fan feel like they're, like, the only ones in the room with them. <laughs> I'm gonna cry for, for, like, different reasons. Right, and, like, honestly, the best part has been seeing <laughs> all these international people who've waited two seasons to, 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 to meet this cast and listening to their stories and their experiences about meeting these people who, like I said, make you feel like you are the, old, the most important person in the room, even if you are the one that asked, that asked a question at a panel. <laughs> They're answering it to you, you know, and <laughs> I don't know, it's just, it's just a lot, and I just, it is perfect, and it's just, I'm just full of love and happiness, and I never want it to end. <laughs> but like, and to see that, like, the cast, like, Dominique was, was like so, so choked up and like cr actively crying on stage because she feels so much love and like it shows how important the show and the, the fandom and all of this is to her and and uh, Kat was crying and you could tell that and you could see the look on the guys faces that they were so grateful and it's just Oh, awesome! I'm like, I'm crying. <laughs> I don't know, I'm crying, I'm laughing, I don't know. I'm just saying though. I don't know, you can cry, you can laugh, but I mean, that's just... I don't know what to do with myself. How it is, you know. It's been an like, emotional weekend. It really has been, but like, the best emotions.